on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. So first focusing on yourself and myself being a black woman and obviously have some things going on as far as me being a black woman and how we are in our community. So then I have to focus on that. So if we are, we're looking at black women being 80 percent um, overweight, well, then if I'm a part of that 80 percent, I have to look at myself and get that right. And that helps my black community, which in essence helps the entire community. So I think we need to focus on ourselves first and then we can um, look at our community. If my community is doing bad or my black community is doing bad, then the rest of the community is doing good. They're not focusing on us. So we need to focus on ourselves, myself first. And then my culture. Are you saying that you you were less you were more insecure when you were younger, but you less insecure now, even though you married? Correct. I got you. So you don't. So you saying that if you if your wife cheated on you today, that it wouldn't have as much of an effect on you as if your girlfriend from back in the day cheated on you. I'm saying that they're the, it, it, not necessarily less, but it would be a different effect. Like right. when I was at 22 and my girl cheated, I would have wanted to whoop her and yell at her. And, 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 but now uh, my initial reaction would be, so what for? What was you getting out of this cheating relationship? Was this an emotional cheat? Was this a sex cheat? Was this an opportunistic cheat or some kind of weird uh, set of circumstances? Like I'm more mature. I'm going to want to get to the bottom of it. And I ain't going to throw away my marriage, you know, automatically uh, uh, without analysis and meditation. Whereas when I 20 years ago, I'd have been like, yo, we finna box in here, lady. I got you. I get it. All right. Well, let's see. Smiling over there, brother. What's going on, man? Does cheating cause insecurities? Yeah, I don't I don't know that. Um, you know, and I, I definitely I agree with Anton. I can't speak from a woman's perspective, although I think we see how that manifests as to like how Courtney what? was saying, um, in terms of how that manifests with you know, women getting cheated on and then want to check your phone and then want to know your whereabouts and texting you and so on and so forth. However, I think from a man's perspective. Um, I don't necessarily think it caught um, majority most times. I don't think it causes um, insecurities. I do think it causes anybody to look at, you know, self and be like, OK, well, you know, was there something that I missed? Did I drop the ball? Or was there something that um, I didn't provide? I think it causes that type of reflection. But I think by and large, most men who just, you know, once you get through the emotional piece of it, um, of the hurt part of it most men just gonna keep it pushing so i don't think it necessarily causes insecurities in men you don't think it causes insecurity in men no nah, i think honestly i think if 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 a man is insecure as a result like if he's re insecure as a result of cheating then that probably was there the whole time and you just didn't unpack it our next topic is as people what pushes us towards growth, focusing on the community as a whole or just the black community? Again, as people, what pushes us towards growth, focusing on the community as a whole or just the black community? Start with you, question. Courtney. I have a question. Go ahead. Sir, sir. Uh, how do you define growth and what do you mean by the community? Who is the community? The community is everybody in the world. Everybody in the world? Right yeah. on. <laughs> okay. Everybody in the world. And how do you define growth? Growth, um, if I had to define it, I would say, uh, I mean, just moving together. You know, like, I mean, everybody moving like together. Everybody just peace, pleasant, just enjoying life as an experience. Okay. Just... You know, being able to come together and just enjoy life for what it is to you. All right. So I'm going to go ahead with the question uh, again. As people, what pushes us towards growth, focusing on the community as a whole or just the black community? I'm going to start with you, Courtney. Okay. Well, what pushes growth is focusing on growth of self first. So like Jordan Peterson says, cleaning up your closet and understanding that. So first focusing on yourself and myself being a black woman 
and obviously have some things going on as far as me being a black woman and how we are in our community. So then I have to focus on that. So if we are, we're looking at black women being 80 percent um, overweight, well, then if I'm a part of that 80 percent, I have to look at myself and get that right. And that helps my black community, which in essence helps the entire community. So I think we need to focus on ourselves first and then we can um, look at our community. If my community is doing bad or my black community is doing bad, then the rest of the community is doing good. They're not focusing on us. So we need to focus on ourselves, myself first and then my culture. All right. Got you on that. OK, as people, what pushes us towards growth, focusing on the community as a whole? or just the black community? Um, I agree with what Courtney said about just getting yourself together first and foremost. Um, I definitely think focusing on the black community for black people is very important um, because we have a different set of uh, obstacles um, to navigate in this society um, and worldwide. Um, <laughs> So I just think that focusing on your own group, your own culture, your own people is very important, um, especially since we really need to start thinking more collectively about the future. Mm -hmm. It's not just like, what am I doing today? How is my life going to turn out? How are my kids going to do? We have to start thinking forward, right? Our grandkids, our great grandkids. And I think that if we focus on our community, then um, it will be beneficial for our posterity. When you say our community, what are you referring to? Black people. Okay. <laughs> JR, I cannot with you today. I <laughs> That's okay. I just, I just wanted to get clarification, that's all. Understandable. You know, I like to get clarification on things, so I'm not knocking it. <laughs> Rilla, as people, what pushes us towards growth? Focusing on the community or focusing on the black community? Yeah, I think oftentimes we talk <clears throat> on the channel about um, aligning. Well, I know Anton does talk about aligning with people that's moving in the direction that you're going. Right. So most people. Like most things happen in proximity. Communities happen in proximity, right? So whoever, you know, whatever community you are part of, where I live right now, it's a mixed community, right? But I identify and align with, mostly with the black community first, right? And then, uh, you know, uh, other ideals come into place. So what, what pushes people towards growth initially is going to be shared ideas, ideals, principles, values, morals, whatever that is that binds you all together for you all to begin to move in the same direction. So any any group of people, you can pick any group of people, whatever that agenda is, whatever that shared identity is, whatever that shared purpose is, whether you're Christian, you know, that shared identity in Christ is going to cause you to grow and move in the same direction together. Whether you're Muslim, that's gonna cause you to grow and move in the same direction together. If you're a particular segment of the black population or Asian population or Italian population, those shared ideals, histories, traditions, cultures, so on and so forth that you guys share together is what's gonna cause you to grow and move together. 